Uh, now Harry's favorite part of the show, UFC 264. Yeah, got a good card. Really good card. Better than the last one. I like this one. This is a good one. Let's start it off from the very bottom. Sean O'Malley and Chris Motahino. I'm going with Sean O'Malley on that one. Yeah, I'd be very surprised if he lost that. Easily. I don't know who the other guy is, honestly. He's a, I think this is his UFC debut. Is it? That makes sense. Nine and four professional record. Is it Sean O'Malley's a beast? Sean O'Malley needs to he needs to fight somebody ranked. He does. I'm not sure. I mean, he's 13 he's, and one. He always has good performances. He's the most popular guy not ranked and has not fought. The one time he fought somebody ranked was Cheeto Bear and he, he lost. He needs to get that rematch or fight somebody else in the top 15. I mean, there's a lot of tough guys in that division, but. It's weird that he hasn't because he is really popular. I'm tired of seeing that you have keep babying him and yeah. trying to bring him up, but he, he's got to prove it, you know. When you're 13 and one, you should be fighting ranked opponents. He's one of the bigger names in that division, but he's not even ranked. So. Yeah, that's some mismanagement for sure. Especially now when the bantamweight's kind of a fl- influx division. Well, they were trying. I mean, with the Cheeto Vera one, if he would have won that, he would have started shooting up the rankings. But yeah, he, he needs to go. He says it was a fluke, so prove it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Challenge yourself, you know, if you're the real deal, all right. Yeah. Harry's picture froze. Uh, we'll see. There you go. You're unfrozen now. I could hear you, but you were frozen. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Uh, women bantamweight, Irene Aldana and Yana Kunsiyaka. Kunisiyaka. Kunisiyaka. Something like that. Uh, okay. Who are you picking? I'm going to go Kurisiaka. Uh, I'm going to go Aldana. All right. We'll switch it up. Switch it up. Uh, I don't have opinion either way on them, really. A lot of these fighters, when I read the names and look at them, I have no idea who they are. But as soon as the fight starts, I'll be like, oh, yeah. And then I hate my pick because <laughs> I remember when I see it. I'm going with, yeah, we'll go that way. Uh, we got a heavyweight fight. This one's a good one. Yeah. Uh, Greg Hardy versus Ty Tuvasa. Ty Tuvasa. Tuvasa. That's a good one. Um, that is a good one. I'm going to go with Greg Hardy on that one. I'm going to go with Tuvasa. Tuvasa. Oh, split down the middle again. Yeah. Uh, Hardy's pretty good. He's another one. I think uh, I don't know if he hasn't had the opportunity, but I feel like he should be bigger than he is. He's athletic. He just hasn't been in it for long enough. As what as long as a lot of these guys he's competing with. Yeah, this could be a big fight though. Uh, the co-main is a really good fight. Gilbert Burns for Stephen Thompson. Mm-hmm. Who am I picking? I will go with. I'm going to go Stephen Thompson. Mm. I'm going to go Gilbert Burns on that one. Why do you like Thompson? Um, I think if it goes to the ground, Gilbert Burns is, is way better. But I think Stephen Thompson, his strikings, he's, he's getting a little, he's getting a little streaky. Yeah, I think he could he could get hot. He seems like the next guy coming. I think Gilbert Burns is just coming off that knockout loss. Mm-hmm. Confidence might be a little shaken. He might try to stand up with Thompson, and I think Thompson will get him. I hope they stand. Up. I feel like this could be the fight of the night, actually. And It'll it's hard to say with a McGregor Poirier main event, but I feel like the main event could be a two round fight. But I feel like this Thompson Burns fight could go the full distance and just be a bloodbath. So that could be the fight to watch for me, honestly. Uh, main event. This is it. The trilogy. Um, Poirier versus McGregor. I've seen a lot of people say McGregor's got it, but I am not so sure. I think this is... 
his last shot at being a big. 100%. If Conor McGregor loses this fight, I would put money that he fights a Paul brother next. I would say he either, he might do the Nate Diaz trilogy. I think that's his last fight. If he loses this. Yeah, that's still, people would still want to watch that. I would watch I think, that, especially after Nate Diaz's last fight. I would 100% watch that. I think, I think that would be it, though. I think, I don't think you could do any more one yeah. shot, one fight away from a title fight. Mm-hmm. He's, he's been losing. As much as I would like to see McGregor win for old time's sake, Poirier is in his prime right now, and he's just been a machine his last few fights. Yeah. And McGregor is just not Conor McGregor pre-Floyd. Yeah, he's not the same. He same came guy. back, and he had a really good fight against a, a aging cowboy. So, um, so you... Your pick is Poirier? I think it's Poirier, and I don't even think it's going to go past two rounds. All right. I see. <laughs> Who are you picking? Uh, <laughs> my fight is, I think, if McGregor wins, he's going to win in the first two rounds. I think if it goes past the second round, then Poirier is going to win. I'm the opposite. Um, I think if McGregor's got a shot, it's got to go. Even though McGregor, you know, his big critique his whole career has been his conditioning. Uh, I don't know. I think Poirier catches him early on the ground, maybe. He could. He could put him. But I think McGregor will gas out. So if the fight's going long, he's definitely going He's going to lose. Yeah. But I, my, I'm going to pick McGregor. I, know, I haven't been picking McGregor. I think he's – I've always felt like he's going to lose. He's going to – Hype, but he's good. He's real. I think he's going to adjust. He's better. I think his team and he's better at making technical changes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he will. I think he will adjust. He will develop a plan to check the legs. The leg kick. He's going to have to come out with a plan. If he's going to win, he's going to have to have like he had the shoulder thing with Cowboy. He's going to have to come out with some something he's got planned to take Poirier out. I think he will Whether go with a little legs or I think he will go with a little more narrow of a stance. Yeah. Uh, and move more. That's how he was really good in the past. He, he, was, he was moving a lot. Mm-hmm. This time he kind of just stood in front and let him hit. Poirier has hit, been so good lately though. It's hard to that. envision. Dustin's, Dustin's good. Dustin's in his prime, but I think, is. I think he might've made a mistake by taking a third one. I mean, I don't blame him. It's all for the money, but I'm yeah. going to go McGregor. I think he's going to adjust. All right. Well, dang. And then uh, I think we, he's uh, going to fight for the title next. So we're split on everything but the O'Malley fight. Yep. Exciting. Let us know in the comments who you agree with, Joe or Harry. Joe always wins. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so our viewer question this week was actually about that. From C Rocker 33 on Instagram asks, uh, Connor, Dustin for the trilogy. Uh, we're split. We'll find out this weekend, and I'm excited for it. Um, yeah, I Vegas has it pretty close. I think Dustin's the favorite, minus 125, and McGregor's plus 105, so it's very close. I mean, it's close. I don't know. I don't know if the closeness is from people thinking of McGregor from six years ago. In mm. his last fight, he didn't look like he had it to me. Hit him I almost years. think McGregor Diaz would be a better fight than this because they're both kind of at the end of their careers. I feel like they're both still tough. They both still got the name and the hype and the fan base. Uh, but I don't think both of them can compete for these big fights anymore. I think, I think McGregor was too nice last time. I think he's gonna too humble. You want to see old school McGregor? Just this is a heated fight. I mean, I was watching the other night. I heard about. I guess Dustin Poirier has a org- charity organization. Have you heard about that? Yeah, they had a little scuffle on that, and the fight yeah. was almost off. Yeah, because I guess McGregor was supposed to donate, and then after his team just disappeared and stopped responding, and Poirier called him mm-hmm. out on Twitter about it. And then McGregor donated to another charity in his city, in Poirier City. Uh, there, the anger's there. So it's not yeah, gonna be think, a nice fight. He was pretty humble last last fight. I think he was. He didn't come in with the right attitude. The thing that Since made his McGregor, comeback really, he's he hasn't been the same cocky kind of McGregor. Like crazy McGregor was the best McGregor. It was. I think 
I and he still does those... crazy shit outside the ring. Like I, I heard the story about how he bought the bar where he punched that guy, and then he banned the guy from ever coming back to that bar. So he he's still gonna, does it. Just do it in the ring. Back. He's gonna bring that McGregor back. I think we're gonna see. He goes back. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I'm still going Poirier. <laughs> That's USC 264, guys. Let us know in the comments what you think. Follow us on uh, Twitter and Instagram, HA Talk Sports.